and welcome to the Life Waves Practice. My name is Sarah Bainbridge and I'm passionate about helping you achieve total well-being in our modern world. Welcome to the second video in our series where we're looking at how to set goals, ambitions and resolutions for your health. In particular, the three main mistakes that people make when setting those health goals. So in the first video, we looked at the first of those mistakes, which is all around not being clear enough about your goal. And today we're going to have a look at the second one. So this one is all about being aware of the obstacles that may get in your way or rather not being aware and that's why you fail. So these are the things that stop you achieving your goal. So you're either consciously aware of them or maybe you're subconsciously aware of them. So you set off with great intentions again and a few weeks in, a few months in, things aren't working as well as you can and it's because you've come across these obstacles and you haven't been aware of them or prepared for them. So these obstacles fall into two different categories. The first one is the yes buts. So for instance, you might have decided that your goal is to eat more healthily. But even as you say that to yourself, the yes buts are coming in. I want to eat more healthily. Yes, but the rest of the family won't want to eat the same things as I do and therefore it'll become really difficult to start cooking separate meals. I want to eat more healthily, yes, but I'm not sure what more healthily means, the types of foods that I should be eating. It can get expensive to buy healthy food and I'm not sure how to cook it. So can you see that already you're starting to limit your ability to achieve that goal? You're putting obstacles in the way. Now, those are the obstacles that you're aware of. Maybe there are some that you're thinking of subconsciously. So I want to eat more healthily, but I've tried this in the past and failed, so I'm not sure I really want to fail again. Or I want to eat more healthily, but actually I'm not worthy of doing that, and therefore I'm not going to do it. So those are the obstacles, the yes buts. The other type of obstacles that can get in your way is really knowing what is causing the problem. So this is particularly relevant if your goals are around resolving symptoms. So for instance, maybe you want to stop getting the headaches that you have. Until you've actually identified why you're getting those headaches, the underlying cause for those headaches, actually achieving that is going to be really difficult. So these are the obstacles towards achieving the goal with regards to symptoms. From a bioregulatory approach to good health, we take the view that there are in fact only five main causal reasons for ill health or ill health, regardless of what it is. Sounds quite simplistic, doesn't it? The thing is, if you have or are subject to one of these five things, it disrupts the delicate energy balance in the body, which then impedes the body's ability to be healthy and to deal with pathogens, toxicity um, and other things going wrong. And therefore you develop symptoms. So it's really important that if you want to deal with symptoms, you actually are aware and deal with these underlying causes. So the underlying causes are dehydration, e-smog, disturbance from EMFs, geostress, acidity and environmental toxins. So if your goal is around resolving symptoms, it's important to consider those underlying causes and as to whether they're affecting you in your life and therefore what you're going to do about them. So what I want you to do for today's task is go back to those goals that we set after the first video that you've got really, really clear about what it is that you wanted to achieve, how you were going to feel when you've achieved it, what life was going to look like. And I want you to sit down and read those goals. And as you read them, become aware of all those obstacles that start to crop up. So all those yes buts and write them down. Don't monitor them. Don't try and um, think about them. Just write them down as they come up, however silly they may be. The more you do that, the freer the mind will come and all those hidden things that maybe you're not aware of, such as the, I'm not worthy to do this, or I've tried it in the past and it hasn't worked, so why try again? All of those things will come out. So that's the first part of your task. The second part of your task is to think about those five main causal factors. Dehydration, EMFs, geostress, acidity, and environmental toxins. Have a think about those, 
and I try and identify if those are affecting you and make a note of which ones are. Now, if you need a little bit more help in identifying what those may be, do go and have a look at the practice website where there are some blog posts which gives you a little bit more information about those things. So that's www.lifewaves.co.uk. So that's your task for today. Um, tomorrow we're going to have a look at the final big mistake that people make and we're going to start to take action as a result of that. And remember, if you feel that you want some more personal help in setting your goals, then do apply for one of my free 30 minute telephone sessions, I Want My Health Back sessions, where we'll work through having a look, getting really clear about your goal, the obstacles that are getting in your way and what you can do about them so that we set a plan for achieving your goal that's achievable for you, manageable and realistic. So if you want to apply for one of these free sessions, just follow the link below and book yourself in. But do hurry because I only have a few available for the next few weeks and they'll go quickly. All right, so bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow in our second, in our third video, sorry. All right, bye-bye.